we have joined the electric revolution and we finally bought ourselves our first electric car and this is the byd seagulls it's not the cheapest ev out there it takes about nine hundred thousand bucks right now uh, there are cheaper ones from detour but don't want those uh, let's go with the most popular brand so this thing is basically the size of a honda jazz uh, slightly bigger uh, power wise it's rated at 75 kilowatts that's what the brochure says on the motor and as you can notice we have it here on the dyno so we'll see exactly if it really makes 75 kilowatts my guess is less because that's the motor without the transmission so the same theory still applies it's the power taken at the shaft of the motor not at the engine crank shaft or basically the motor output shaft so that's 75 kilowatts uh, then of course you will still have transmission uh, basically i think that's it that's the only load that's here there's a, a transmission that reduces the gears that reduces the speed to something that we are all comfortable with which is kph which is geared to how big the size of the wheel is so there's a lot less gears actually inside the transmission i'll show you here uh, what, by what i mean so if you, if you take a look here i'll quickly explain what these things are so this thing here this is the battery management module or just basically the electronic part the electronics of it so this whole thing this yeah this thick thing over here this is the battery control module this is basically the car's ecu and if you notice here there are two lines going in and out here that's coolant so you still have you have to cool this part so there's still a radiator because you need to cool the battery here uh, the actual electric motor is underneath the battery so uh, underneath the battery control module so this actual electric motor it starts from here all the way up to here so it's about an electric motor that big the transmission is this little tiny thing so this thing is the transmission there there's an output shaft here then that's the drive shaft there that goes left and right that's it that's the whole transmission and that's basically that's basically the whole car <laughs> there's nothing else <laughs> uh, you still have the usual fluid you have a brake fluid here there's an electronic brake master over here, so that's an electric motor. That's still your normal brake master with the brake lines over there, your windshield washer there. You still have a small radiator here for the aforementioned cooling of the battery control module, and you still have the air conditioner here. There's still a fan here also. Uh, but everything else is gone. Pistons, rods, oil, transmission fluid all goes out the window. So let's see if we can dyno it. All right, let's see what she makes. So this is already at full throttle. And if you look at our power reading over there, see, you can read power is 69. That's, if that's in horsepower. Uh, axle torque is beside it. So we have to divide that by two. Uh, if you're looking for the traditional dynograph, which is basically power over RPM, there's none because <laughs> it's either maximum power or anything below it that's it that's what an electric motor is if you have if you do it full throttle it gives you maximum horsepower and anything beyond that is that so there's no rpm per se it's a constant rpm motor oh yeah, tama, 52 kilowatts 52 all right so power here came about to be about 52 kilowatts. That's actually around 70 horses. It's point, it's point, it's 75 percent. So one horsepower is 0 0.75 kilowatts. That's the conversion. So we, in our dyno shows, we have 70 horse and 52 kilowatts. Uh, a little bit of Google search tells us that the actual motor rating is this one, 75 horse and 55 kilowatts. So basically. The transmission itself is only a five horsepower loss compared to your normal traditional automatic transmission which is anywhere from 25 to 30 horses this thing is horribly efficient so from 55 kilowatts we're down to 52 kilowatts so the transmission only soaks up at about three kilowatts uh three kilowatts is basically one standard air conditioner <laughs> that's basically what it means that's the power consumption so it's a very very efficient way of uh, translating power so 
For comparison, at 70 horses, we're the equivalent of basically a 1.3-1.4 liter gasoline engine. So your Vios, your Accent, so this in the same category and class as that one. But the kicker part is when we look at the torque a while ago, I think we were at 600 Newton meters a while ago. Uh, okay, okay, here's the screen, 600, 600 something Newton meters. So what that means is we have to divide it by two because it's getting it from left and right. So divided by two, we have 300 Newton meters actually, actual torque to the wheels. Uh, by comparison, a Vios's torque is only 140 Newton meters. So it basically has two times the torque of whatever gasoline car you have at pretty much instantaneous because the way that electric motors work is that these things make maximum torque at one RPM. <laughs> That's how it works. Compared to a gas engine, you have to rev it to 4,200 to get maximum torque. No, these things make maximum torque the second you step on it. So yes, pretty much what the specs, uh, what the BYD specs tell us is pretty much what we get here. So again, we just don't have the usual graph here because you, you can't. There's, Nothing. Uh, electric motors are rated at maximum power and nothing else. So if you have 70, kilo, 70 kilowatts, uh, 55 kilowatts, then anything that's not full throttle is anywhere in that range. Oh, yes, this is the future, folks.